Hi everyone. Today we'll talk about the section formula. So first, let's understand what our objective is. So say we have a line segment AB and the coordinates of A and B are known. So coordinates of A are x1, y1 and B are x2, y2. And there is a point on the line segment AB so that that point divides the line segment AB internally in the ratio m is to n. And the question is, can we find the coordinates of P, given the known coordinates of A and B, and also the ratio m is to n? So let's see how we can do that. Let's put all of this in a proper graph. So we have a graph here like this. This is the x-axis. This is the y-axis. Let's take our point A somewhere here, and our point B here, and let's make the line segment. Now the coordinates of A are known. It is x1 comma y1, and the coordinates of B are x2 comma y2, and we have a point P in between, so somewhere here, and let's say the coordinates of P are x comma y. And this point P divides the line segment AB in the ratio m is to n. So our problem statement is to find the coordinates of P. Now to find the x coordinate of P, we'll drop the perpendicular down on the x axis, and this would help us giving the x coordinate of P. And also note we are trying to find the coordinates of P based on the known coordinates of A and B. So we'll also drop the perpendicular down for both of these points too. So we have something like this. Now, if you think about it, the x coordinate of p is going to be this entire line. So this is the x coordinate of p. So this is our x coordinate. But the x coordinate of a, which is x one, is this, right? This is our x one. So to know x, to know the full length of x, we already have one part known, which is x one. This other part we need to calculate. And this other part is same as this one. So if we write it as q here, then we can write that the whole length x is made up of two parts. One is x1 and the other is aq. And we write it in equation form as x is equal to x1 plus aq. And so if we take x1 that side, we get that aq is equal to x minus x1. All right. Now let's try to understand PQ. What the length PQ can be? Simply because if this length, the y coordinate of a, y1 is known, that means that this length is also known because this is also y1. And if this length is known, and this length is called PQ, then I can say the entire y coordinate of P is PQ plus y1. So we can write this as y is equal to y1 plus pq. Now pq becomes y minus y1. So y represents the y coordinate of p, which is this entire line, which is made up of y1 plus pq. So these are two pointers that we just keep it here. Now let's think about what else we can do to help find the coordinates of p. So we already have one triangle here. How about we make another one? Right here. So this is a second triangle that we're trying to form. Let's write this as C, and then we join this line to create BC. And now again, let's try to find the length of BC and PC. So you see, for PC here, this entire length is the x coordinate of B, so it is x two, and this is the x coordinate of P, so this is x. So this length PC would be x2 minus x. So we can write this as pc is equal to x2 minus x. And now for this length bc, we see that this entire length is the y coordinate of b, which is y2. And this length is nothing but y, the y coordinate of p, because this length is equal to this length, and this is y. So this is also y, and the y coordinate of b, which is y2, is formed. By this length, which is y plus bc, so we can write bc as y two minus this length y. So we can write bc as y two minus y. And now all the lengths are known, and we did this 
because there is some sort of similarity that we are seeing in these two triangles. And if we can somehow show them similar, so let's try to prove them similar. So in triangle PAQ and triangle BPC, we see that this angle right here, they have to be equal to each other simply because line AQ and line PC are parallel to each other and this acts as a transversal. So these are corresponding angles. So angle PAQ is equal to angle BPC because they are corresponding angles. And then you can see this angle also. This angle is 90 degrees here and so is this. So angle PQA is equal to angle BCP because both of them are 90 degrees. So in this triangle and in this triangle, because of AA similarity, we can say that these two triangles are similar. So triangle PAQ is similar to triangle BPC. And the minute we establish this fact, now we can use the similarity formulas to try to get our coordinates of P. So similarity of triangles tells us that when two triangles are similar, then the respective sides are proportional. Now that greatly adds to our advantage. Simply because we know the length AP divided by PB is nothing but the ratio. This point P cuts line segment AB with. So AP divided by PB which is the hypotenuse of both the triangles is equal to the base ratio of both the triangles. So it is AQ divided by PC and that is also equal to the perpendicular ratio of both the triangles, so that would be PQ divided by BC. Now for now, let's just focus on these two. So if you are focusing on these two, we know that AP divided by PB, that is equal to M divided by N, and this thing would be equal to AQ, which we already calculated. So it is equal to X minus X1 divided by PC, which we already calculated too, so that's X2 minus X. Now all we need to do, is some algebra. So let's cross multiply first. And what we get from here is that m would be multiplied with both of these terms. So that would be m into x2 minus m into x, which would be equal to, now n would be multiplied with both of these terms. So that would be n into x minus n into x1. So let's take this formula up and let's try to do the manipulation on this formula. So we see that there are two terms having x, mx and nx. So let's take them together and let's take this term nx1, this side. So we get mx2 plus nx1 is equal to nx plus mx. And we can take x similar out of here. So we have mx2 plus nx1 is equal to m plus m into x. Now we can divide both sides with m plus m to get x. So we have x is equal to mx2 plus nx1 divided by n plus m. And that's it. We've already got the x coordinate of p. And what this formula shows that if it cuts this line segment in the ratio m to n, then the x coordinate would be m into x2 plus n into x1 divided by n plus m. Right? So now in the same way, let's try to find the y coordinate too. So let's keep our x coordinate here. Now for y coordinate, we'll use the perpendicular ratio and the hypotenuse ratio. So AP divided by PB is equal to PQ divided by BC. And note that this we got from the similarity of triangles. So now we use the same thing because AP by PB is equal to M divided by N and PQ is what we calculated as Y minus Y1 divided by BC is what we calculated as Y2 minus Y. So that's Y2 minus y and now again cross multiplication here so that's m into y2 minus m into y is equal to now n into y so n into y minus n into y1 and now let's again keep this formula up so we can find y so we have m y2 minus m y is equal to n y minus n y2 now let's take the similar terms on the same side so m y comes here so we have n y1 going this side. So we have m y2 plus n into y1 is equal to n into y plus m into y. 
Now again we'll take y common from both this. So we get this is n plus m into y. And then we divide both sides with n plus m to get y is equal to m y2 plus m into y1 divided by n plus m. So this is a similar type of formula we got for x. Right? So we have our x coordinate as m into x2 plus n into x1 divided by n plus m. And we have our y coordinate as m into y2 plus n into y1 divided by n plus m. And so we come back to our question that we started with. That we have our line segment AB with coordinates x1, y1 and x2, y2. And there is a point P which cuts this line in a ratio m is to n internally. Then can we find the coordinates of P? And yes, we can. The coordinates are x is equal to m into x2 plus n into x1 divided by n plus m. And y is n into y2 plus n into y1 divided by n plus m. So that's all about it. Thank you.